recently I received an alien broadcast and in this video up here I set you guys the task of cracking a message and you did a cracking job. If you haven't seen that video and you do want to have a go then you need to watch that video and crack message one before you watch this video because otherwise the whole game's going to be up isn't it? Anyway a second message has been received. Let's have a look at how you people did with cracking the first message. The message consisted of this binary file. There's quite a lot of data in there, but you can see we've got little clumps of ones amongst all those zeros. And it didn't take long for people to realize that a good thing to do might be to put on word wrap. So now if we have a look down, we've definitely got a structure near the top scattered ones and zeros and some more structure at the bottom. So what if we adjust the width of this file? That looks interesting. What have we got further down? So we've got some diagonal lines and then this could be actual shapes or characters. Who knows? Let's try adjusting it further. Still similar, I think. Ooh. Now that is interesting. Let's try looking down again. Yeah, I think we're getting there. Let's try adjusting it more. I think we, I think we had something back there. Let me just go back one. There, oh, now that looks very good. We got a nice diagonal line. We appear to have some sort of square in the top left. Let's see what we got further on down the file. Another square, another square, a vertical line there, An another square and another. Do you know what? These squares are coming very regularly. Um, there's always one on the left, a square of ones, one on the right, a little higher, a square of ones with a one in the middle. Now, that looks like it could be a page or a, f a frame delineator. So we got a start of a page, a square with nothing in it. The end of a page, a square with a one in the middle. Let's go with that. If we break this message up then by using those as delin delineators, let's see what we got. And to make it easier to see, we'll turn all the ones to uh, black characters and all the zeros to white. Let's see what we got. It turns out the message can be broken down into an exact number of frames, each one delineated by this empty square at the top left, a square with a dot in the middle, bottom right. Uh, this frame obviously just has a diagonal line. I don't know what that means. Let's carry on and see what we got. The next frame, same page delineators, just has a vertical line. Don't really know what that means. Next one has one dot, two dots, three dots. This is starting to look like counting. So if that was three, two, one, could that be zero? Uh, still wouldn't know what that is though. So let's carry on. Two, three, four. Oh, um, not sure. Let's look at the next one. All right, we got a slash, and a, a slash and a vertical line, then a slash and one dot. So if we go back to the beginning again, what if that was zero? One, two, three, four, one, zero. That would be base five. One, 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 two, one, three, one, four. Well, if it's base five, we're not going to get five dots. Something else should happen. Slash with a dot over and a zero. This is sounding good. Carrying on. This would be then two zero, two one, two two, two three, two four. So we should get another change on this leftmost graphic. 
three zero, three one, three two, three three, three four, four zero. So an X is a four in the second column. Four one, four two, four three, four four, one zero zero. Base five, one zero zero, that's twenty five. What's the next frame show us? Oh, we've seen that before. That is identical to the frame that we saw right at the beginning. If we go back, like that. A message, start and end frame, to signify that you've got the whole message. I think that's about all we can get from this message directly. This all looks really, really good. So we have a message start and end delimiter, which is the great big slash. We have page or frame delimiters, empty square, followed by a square with a dot in the middle and all those characters. Let's look at them in a table. So here's all the pages of individual characters or numbers, which is what we think it is. So from the top, we've got slash, dot, two dots, three dots, four dots, slash vertical, slash dot, slash two dots, slash, and so on. Let's label them up, zero, through to 25. Now we've assumed it's base five. Let's have a look at what those numbers are in base five and see how they equate. Zero, one, two, three, four, one, zero. One, 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 two, one, three, one, four, two, zero. And a change of the leftmost character each time we get a multiple of five. Yeah, that's looking like base five. And at the end, where we reach the number 25, that gives us one, zero, zero. And indeed we have three characters making up the alien message number. I think we got it. Fantastic job, everyone. Jerry, also known as Quasar, who's a steely-eyed missile man, was the first to send in a complete solution. Others who complete this are Simon Thurston, Ken Bowley, Dave, Andreas Elk, TJ Smith, Sebastian Kalas, Jana Pulkinen, Fleur World, Grant Nelson, Jonas Eriksson, Adam Finney, Tim Ballam, and Paul Reed. So once again, well done for everyone who was successful and well done for everybody who tried as well. As I said, a second message has arrived. The link to that is in the description below. So this time though, rather than everybody emailing me because I got swamped, I would instead request that you contact me via Discord, DM me on Discord if you think you have a solution. And it probably is worth jumping into the Discord server into the alien message room to work with and discuss with others. Again, I'm looking forward to seeing how brilliantly you do. Until next time, stay sensible. Shut up and sit down.